Hi everyone, welcome to Kaisers. Today we have for you the Japanese package that I ordered. It is the right shifter, hopefully. Um, it was mailed on the 1st of February and it arrived to me on the 10th of February. So let's just get that out. Let's have a look at the package. Nice. Um, uh, by Pulse Force, yep, beautiful. Now the first thing I can feel in this package is that it doesn't feel like the shifter is in a box at all. So, um, let's see if I can get into this. Slice down the side there. Is there any room in here? This is a tricky one. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh dear, what's that stuck together with? Right. Okay, it's open. And I was right, it's not in anything. Okay, so there's a bubble wrap packet. That can go in over there. There's one of these. As usual, we'll have to pop it. Woohoo! And, um, okay, we've got a bag with a shifter in a packet. And that's pretty much all that we wanted, yeah? When you look at it, and it is the Altegra. I can't see anything wrong with that. Um, it looks um, genuine, I'm pretty sure it is. Just looking around it, um, wow. Okay, um, let's have a look underneath, see if we can, this one has got the letters PJ underneath there. Uh, it doesn't squeak like the other one, the other one kind of squeaked. Well, the buttons work. They seem a bit easier than the last ones. The button on the top works. Right, let's peel back this and uh, have a look at it. So we have Shimano Mineral Oil, five to six newton meters tightening. We also have the double, if I can swing that out. Oh, wait, that's tough to get back. Yeah, we've got the double DR2 port, yeah, which you can push out a little bit. It's got one that's blanked off. Everything looks to be uh, as it should be in there. Um, I can actually, oh yeah, I can undo it. Yeah, no problem. Perfect, I can undo that and do it back up. Everything seems to be in order. Let's put that back over. So, who says you can't get anything from, uh, things are dodgy from Japan and China, yeah? I'm not convinced anymore. I don't know what that bump is. See it there? I think it's just something underneath the... Oh yeah, it's because that bit hasn't gone back in, into its hole properly. Uh, yeah, we can flatten that down. So, um, yeah, it all looks to be. Oh, sorry, it's off the camera. What am I doing? It all looks to be. Uh, it all looks to be there. Perfect. Let's just peel back the front bit like we did on the last hole. I'm just going to put my knife in under here just to see if I can break that. There we go. So that's off. That's what happens when. Okay, so let's have a look at this front uh, end. And there's the button. Perfect. All looks to be uh, proper. Yeah, there's the K electric cable running down there. Okay, let's put that back together 
and then let us weigh it because we like to weigh stuff. So, scales in, in front. So this, I'm going to guess, I don't know, two, 200 and something. 183, 183. Not sure I can stand it up anymore. Uh, yeah, 183, okay? 184 now, it's going up. By the end of the week, it'd be 250. So, um, perfect. So I've now got everything that we need for our bike. I'm very happy with uh, alexcycle.com. I'll leave them a little description in the link below. If you're struggling to get Ultegra uh, STR8070 DR2 hydraulic levers, that's your place because Europe hasn't got any till April, I was told. Um, very happy with that. Very happy indeed. And... Uh, so now we can do some more videos for you um thanks for joining in thanks for looking and we'll see you on the next Cairo's house take care bye like subscribe don't forget see you later